welcome to my channel. Today's video is a haul from Nature's Workshop Plus. Lots of fun things I'm excited to share with you guys. So I wanna say thank you to Nature's Workshop Plus for sponsoring today's video and sending me all of these fun things to share with you guys. They have so much, so many more things than I thought they had, so I'm really excited to share all the goodies I got uh, with you. So if you've never heard of Nature's Workshop Plus, the way I originally found them is um, I was looking for science kits for our upcoming school year for our science curriculum. We're using Apology of Science and there's lots of activities, which I wanted. But also I am the type of person that when my kids get like a supply list, I feel like I go to the craft store or even like Walmart or Target and I spend so much money and I get way too much stuff. So Nature's Workshop Plus puts together lab kits, science lab kits for specific curriculums. So they're not like, they don't like work for Apologia. They have different curriculum companies that they take the curriculums activities and they bundle it all together. So um, I bought a science lab kit for our Apologia's Earth Science. So. This is what's really cool. It, ca it came all packaged in a nice box, but what I did, uh, because we're getting ready obviously for the school year, is I have these little bins that are more open. Um, they're called book bins. You can get them for a couple dollars at like Target, um, like a craft store. And so I just put all of the kit contents in here. Um, so what you get is you get your list, okay? It says this is um, what we, Put in your kit and then what you need to provide so things like um water or like food items because in our earth science uh curriculum there's like a lot of recipes that we're making so they're not going to give you stuff like that but um it tells me right here so for lesson one these are all the items they package now what is really cool is not only do they give you everything you need they package it for you so <laughs> it makes my life easier because i have multiple kids doing multiple things. Um, I know for lesson one, this is what we need. So it says, okay, here's a borax. And then if, if this uh, product needs to be used in future lessons, it tells me to save some. I have glue, food coloring, glitter, marbles, uh, little pipe cleaners, and a Ziploc bag. So this is all I need for lesson one. We're good to go. This is lesson two. And again, this is the stuff I'm talking about. So there's like rocks in here, there's dirt. You can't just buy a little bag of rocks this size. So this is where if I went to the store, I would end up with this big bag, paying so much money for it and not using it all. So um, to this, is, this was well worth it for me. There are some stuff, um, like this is just a paint kit. It's like you're gonna be painting things throughout the curriculum. So there's that. Um, Here's like a paper plate, like just all this stuff. One of them they need wire hangers for, so you get wire hangers. This one has like a flashlight in it, a balloon. This one is the glue. So part of um, our curriculum, you're making like an earth uh, throughout the whole thing. So there's a lot of that stuff on there. And then this is your miscellaneous kit. So markers, colored pencils, uh, so now I know that on this little list that they gave me, it says, okay, listen, lesson one, what they did not provide was mixing bowls, a spoon and water. So that just kind of gives me a head up that I, I need those things, which I looked through this and everything really is just around the house, super easy kitchen stuff. Um, the only other one that like less than eight, you need 15 pound weights, which I don't have those, but what I'll do is I'll kind of go look at that activity and see like what it is. Like maybe we just don't need to do that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, they provide you everything you need, um, especially if that's something that's important to you is doing those activities. Those are the things that kids love. That's what they remember. Let them, let Nature's Workshop Plus make it easier for you. So I'm gonna link down below a link to their website. Um, like I said, they work with tons of different curriculum companies and they have tons of different lab kits. So especially as your kids get older um, and you're trying to maybe fulfill like those high school credits, you do need lab sciences and they have the coolest kits 
ever and make your life so much easier. So that was what I bought. Um, but then Nature Workshop Plus reached out to me and they wanted to send me some of their items to share with you guys. So I have a huge box from them that I'm going to share with you and talk about how I'm going to use these different products. Box is like almost my height. So let's open it and see. All right. So they have tons of these learning mats. Now, um, I really like these, especially when you have kids at like different age levels and they're learning different things or it's things that aren't common. Roman numerals aren't that common anymore. And I mean, I've used lots of curriculum and I've rarely seen it taught in curriculum. Saxon math was actually the first one and it was only in like one lesson that they taught some sort of Roman numerals. So I kind of just wanted a reference sheet for my kids. For myself and so they have this really cool placemat that kind of explains the different ones and then gives you a quick snapshot of the numbers and then um, you can actually fill in the chart with like a dry erase marker on the back so I thought that this was super fun and they have tons of different um, options of these learning mats on all different topics so these are really cool and I will link everything I'm showing down below in the description these are owl pellets so what you will find is nature's workshop plus has lots of science related things and they have those really cool kits but they sell a lot of stuff individually so Maybe you don't have a curriculum like I did that there's a kit made for, but maybe you're piecing together your own unit study. Well, you can go on there and find tons of different science tools. So like this, owl dissection. Yeah. My kids are going to love this. Most kids love this. I don't think I love it, but it was nice to have the option to just buy these. And I think they had a couple different versions of owl uh, pellets, owl puke because that's what it is. Uh, so I think this is two different ones and they get to reconstruct the skeleton. Now this doesn't go necessarily with our science curriculum. However, this may be something really cool to do on summer. Um, it gets super hot where we live. And so, um, you know, even swimming in the pool can only be done for like an hour or so when it's that hot. And so there has to be time inside. And I don't know about you guys, but my kids being homeschooled, if they don't have like a, a structured schoolwork and they have nothing to do, they get really bored and they tell me how bored they are and they have nothing to do. So having stuff like this um, is fun and they like it and it's educational. So we're all winning. So this is something that I know we're going to get into this summer. These, they have all the brain quests, little games and cards. And so I got this one. This is for grade five. It's 1500 questions and answers to challenge the mind. Again, this is one of those things when my kids tell me they're bored, um, I'm like, we can do this. Or uh, upcoming vacations and trips. This is something super small and easy to pack. And again, it's, it's fun. It's a game for the kids, but it's educational too. I'm going to open it so I can show you. Okay, so there's two decks in here. And, and to be honest, I've never played this, so I don't really know. Okay, so there's there's the questions on the front of the card and then answers on the back. So this says, oh, so okay, so there's all the different subjects. So there's English, history, miscellaneous, science, math, geography, English, science. Oh, so it goes a little bit. So you ask the question and then the answer's on the back. That's it. There's just a bunch of trivia questions. So my kids love trivia games. Uh, there's this game they play. It's called Beat the Parent. So there's questions for kids and then questions for the parents. And they have so much fun and they have pretty much any time like family comes to our house that family has to play like you have to like play the game with the kids um and it's a really fun game so they're gonna love these trivia type questions and it's small compact this is easy to take if you're doing like road schooling things like that these is this is called 52 nature activities um, so there it's the size of a deck of cards. I will say when I was looking at this online, I did, for some reason I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger, but they are size of, deck of cards, which now that I think about it, because they're meant to take like out in nature. So like when we go to a walk or to the park, these, I could fit these in my little like fanny pack purse, which is actually a lot nicer now that I think about what I thought these cards were going to be. So um, there's little cards and they're super cute. So this one says under a rock. And then on the back, it says, find a big rock that is easy enough for you to move. Gently turn it over and look underneath. What's going on under there? Look carefully to see if anything is moving. Is anything growing? What are all the different things that 
can live under the rock. So it just kind of um, does something like a little activity and then a bunch of like little questions under it. This one says a, na a natural alphabet, gather rocks, leaves, other small things and make the alphabet or make words. Rock out, look for things that can be used as musical instruments. Seed by seed, look for seeds in summer and fall. So again, just like kind of foraging around just being a little bit more, I think, aware of your surroundings. So these are super cute. Again, now like how small they are, you could even just grab like five, throw them in your wallet, right? Throw them, or if you have like your cell phone with like a little case on it, throw a couple in there, stop by a little nature, outdoor, a park, and do a couple fun little cards. So these are super cute, super fun. It just takes that like you feeling that pressure of having to plan stuff, it's done for you and it's super easy. So these are the 52 nature activity cards. Oh, and this book is so, so cool. So this is called A Year in Nature, A Carousel Book of the Seasons. And I'm my kids already got into all this because they were so excited when it showed up. But this book, it's going to be a little difficult for me to show you, but it has a beautiful pop out of every season. And then it has little words on like the trees and stuff and down below, which it's going to be hard to see. So this is a uh, spring and it says birds build nests, bright flowers grow, a mother fox keeps her cubs safe. Um, so there's a really, there's a whole little scene going on. And so what I thought about this is, you know, in our homeschool room, we have shelves. I could totally pop when it's that season. I can pop it just sit it on the shelf so when it sits flat it's like a little storybook scene that you can see in and your kids can find all the different things going on and this would be really fun to match up again with different science curriculums different little mini units um, it's just so beautiful and colorful like the fall And again, this is something super easy that's going to make like such a big difference in your homeschool room just sitting out on the table. Look at these fall colors. That's all you need. You switch it and it feels like fall. And then there is a winter. So on your little bookshelf, when you add all your little winter books out, you can do a little winter scene. This is just absolutely beautiful and again it's like all the different layers um all the different animals your kids can see um it's a really cute fun book so this is called a year in nature a carousel book of seasons and last i got this ticket to ride europe game this game is huge um I have heard about these games. So if you're if you never heard of Ticket to Ride, um, they are kind of educational geography, historical places. Uh, so this one is Europe. So it's traveling throughout different cities and things in Europe. They have um, they have them for all over. So there's like a U.S. one. There's so many of them. I'll pop a picture up so you can see all of them. Um, so my kids, my my older daughters, as soon as I opened the box and they saw this, they were freaking out. They're like, that is the coolest game ever. And again, in their mind, it's just a game. In my mind, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're learning. They're learning stuff. So um, this is something that we are also going to be, well, first learning how to play <laughs> over summer because it is, um, a little bit in depth of a game in strategy and things like that. And so we are going to be taking some time over summer to be learning how to play it, learn how to play it. And then we'll start getting the add on ones. I just think it's perfect. If so, I know we're going to be doing like a U.S. study. We'll get the U.S. version. There's like an Africa one, a Japan one. So I think that those would be really fun um, to add in, especially if you do like the continent studies from Gather Round or just any, you know, social studies. Um, I think it's just a fun game to add. So I will be sharing more about it. Um, if you have tips or tricks on easy how to figure out how to play it, leave those down below. <laughs> um, like I said, we got as far as unpackaging it and kind of setting it up. And then we're like, okay, so what do we do? So um, I think that this is going to be a super fun game. But again, all of this stuff is like fun, but it's educational. And so it kind of breaks up the monotony of day-to-day -day schoolwork. This is really good for things over summer 
any types of breaks just to break up your school day like fun Fridays if you do those in your school these are the types of items so um, I'm gonna link everything I show just go check out their website they have so much stuff on there a lot of science stuff a lot of nature stuff and so if you're wanting to incorporate more of that or you're just like looking for something that you're having a hard time finding I guarantee you they probably have it if you guys like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you want to see more hauls like this as well let me know and I would love to hear what item did I show today that you loved leave that down below in the comments thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day guys and we'll chat soon bye